NBA player complains about a hand injury due to the iPhone 6 Plus. Samsung predicts quarterly losses even with the success of the Galaxy S6, and Sony doesn't seem interested in selling its Xperia lineup. I'm Jaime Rivera, and boy am I happy that I won't be the laughing stock of the NBA. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today start with Sony as the company's CEO, which name I won't waste my time trying to pronounce, has just confirmed that the company is committed to its smartphone lineup. He admits that selling the VAIO lineup was not a very good idea, to the point where it seems that Sony will continue with its Xperia lineup, we just uh, don't know when the best of its smartphones are going to come to the United States eventually. We'll keep you posted on that one. Other interesting news are rather negative. HTC just said it had losses, and Samsung is also predicting quarterly losses of 4% in profit uh, from since $0.26 billion to $6.16. Uh, and uh, the reasons are not being said. Obviously, we would have to wait for the conference call, but uh, it does seem that the Galaxy S6 was not as successful as they were expecting. And speaking of HTC, let's move away from the losses and talk about its future product, the HTC Aero, that we have been covering lately. It seems that the company will bring this flagship later this year, and we've got suppliers claiming information on its display. Apparently, it will be a Gorilla Glass 4 display, Quad HD in resolution, and apparently it will be 2.5D glass, something we've seen with the iPhone 6 and uh, we've also seen with other products like the Oppo R7 indeed. Uh, it would be cool to see these products or additions to the spec sheet of this device. Let's just see if it happens for IFA. And for those of you that have been following Windows 10, it seems that everything is on track. According to trusted sources, Windows 10 RTM, or release to manufacturers, will be ready either yesterday or today, because uh, that's when it was reported. And it seems that we might get it, or at least, sorry, uh, manufacturers will get it by the end of this week, meaning that everything is on track for Windows 10 to be launched on new computers by uh, July 29th. Uh, let's just see how many products we'll be getting on launch date. And finally, for the hilarious news of the day, and I'm sure you've just noticed that it took me a couple of takes to record this, it seems that NBA star from the San Antonio Spurs, Matt Boner, and I hope I got his name right, uh, is apparently complaining of tennis uh, elbow due to none other than the iPhone 6 Plus. According to him, the phone is so big that uh, he's having trouble stretching his fingers, and that caused him to have tennis elbow issues, and that caused him to have a very bad season injury. Very interesting. Surely the phone is humongous, definitely, but it does lead me to the question of the day. Do you feel that the iPhone 6 Plus is too big, too large? I mean, do you think that Apple should tone down its bezels or something? In my case, I do agree. This is definitely a large phone, but uh, hey, at least I'm not in the NBA and I don't have any injuries yet. Leave us a comment down below. What is your case? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.